Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Bomber Crew. So this is, uh, oh, this was voted into rotation previously, and we played it, and it was a lot of fun, and I'm going to play some more, because I'm having a bloody blast. All right, so, I think we, uh, we don't need to recruit anyone, and then the crew gear is kind of uninspiring. Oh, here we Basic pilot set. Well, what's the big deal with this? Less armor. And colder. But he's got O2? Whatever that... Why? I don't know why that matters. That's okay. But what's this? Hang on. Survival. So he has a higher survival rate. Like if the plane crashes or something. Oh. That probably makes sense. Let's go. Equip. I oh, can't necessarily equip that to all. Oh, what's the matter? Hey, okay, you blokes can't wear that. What's the difference between basic flight and starter flight? It seems identical, to be honest. Basic navigator set? All right, what's going on here? He has a much higher survival rate. Oh, lower there. Lower armor again. He can... Is that their movement speed? Why do I want more movement speed for the navigator? I guess maybe if you're in a gunfight, it probably... I think this game's sort of slowly telling me that this guy should be my mid-gunner, if that makes sense. Oh, let's just equip that to him. Now, what's going on over here? Basic radio operator set. Better survival. All right, so I'm sensing a theme. Much lower armor. All right. But they have a much higher survival rate, which is probably a sensible investment, I guess, at this point. Basic gunner. Hey, the gunner gets a lot more armor. I guess he's popping his head up to get it shot off. Moves a bit slower. That makes sense for the armor. A little bit more survival. Definitely can't handle the cold as much. Yeah, well, we'll equip him. We're going for it. We're going for it here. Basic gunner, you can have that as well. And then basic bomb aimer set. Bit more armor. bit slower basic you know what we'll give him the bomb aimer just because that's what he is first you know what i mean he's bomb aimer first all right oops i, was, I just wanted to have a look at them all but that's fine oh maybe the training page is the way to go look at them all look at these little chads and chadettes all right Now what? We've only got a little bit more money left. Livery, I'm not that worried about any of that sort of crap, to be perfectly honest. The dumpy dustbin. I'd be curious if it gives me random livery from what we've got unlocked, if slash when we sink this thing. Um, Armoured engine mark one. Weight limit increase. It lowers your weight limit. Armoured engines can take more damage, but don't increase the aircraft's weight limit as much. Right, I see. And standard engine mark two just gives you more of everything, basically. Oh, okay, much more weight limit. Oh, how interesting. Okay, guns. What can you tell me about guns? Plus an ammo feed. Oh, it adds a big bit of weight to it. With an ammo feed, ammo belts are automatically restocked without having to go to the ammo box. Jeez, that is... A significant bloody investment, I would say. Better electrical systems, okay. Um, Two-slot equipment rack would be helpful. Lightweight fuselage or armoured. And then survival inflatable dinghy homing pigeon. If you ditch behind enemy lines, a homing pigeon will greatly increase your cruise chances. Actually, you know what? Let's do that since that was the sort of theme of what we were increasing. Um, well, look at this. I can straight up afford the Mark II. Damage per second. Okay, the Mark I with ammo belt is a convenience. No, I want the, uh... Though, that said, look, that is definitely... That's interesting. Do you want more sustain or do you want more damage? I don't know. Maybe we'll just go the Mark II for the moment. Installing this will put your bomber over its weight limit. Upgrade your engines. Ah, Okay. I see. Engines. Weight limit. 500. 
Four fifty. Though no, that's not really going to work. Okay. So I could get a standard engine Mark II. Let's let's do that. Okay. Okay. There's enough of that. Briefing time. All right. Now this is the big one. Medium duration, medium risk. Not sure how I feel about that. What's this? Short duration, low risk, search and rescue. Uh, drop survival gear to keep him safe. Yeah, we're going to do that because we're, uh, we've played enough of this and its sequel to know that Puss Bag is the way. Plus, I do find this a bit clunky compared to the other game. I'm still sort of getting my head around the controls. Um, so we'll get used to that. Okay, so the engineer has a lot to do. Yeah, I think what I'll do is have the navigator jump on the center gun when the time comes, you know? What is going on again? Is this a known glitch? I'm curious if there's people watching this that have played it. I can't... I can't move my... My mouse is not responding. This isn't the first time that this has happened. Toggles... What's hold shift? No, we have to restart this again. I'm really sorry, team. I hope it at least... Let's see if, um... Actually, because we'll test it. No, now we've got a bloody audio glitch by the sound of it. Let's see if it... Will, if you can go back to the main menu. Wow, now we've got an audio glitch? Yeah. What the fuck, game? Sort it out. I'm going to desktop this and then we'll load back in real quick. Just wait for it to cloud sync. Hmm. Might have to Google this because if it's going to do this before every mission, that's just fucking not on. You know? Here we go. Come on. All right, campaign. Load. Load, let's go. Now, fingers crossed all the crew gear is saved. Looks like it. In you come, lads. Very good. All right, well, that's something. Let's assume that the ear yeah, Wait, we've got 600 bucks. Right, because I bought the engine, I didn't. I couldn't afford the gun that was the right amount. Okay. Search and rescue, begin mission, let's go. Alright, well, we're moving now, so I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to say. I'm, uh, I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest, that, that, a, that a glitch could just repeatedly exist back to front, back to back, you know. Supplies must be dropped from low altitude. The container is a parachute. It will drift if dropped too high. Okay. Barry bomb aimer, you can just stay on alert. Alright, so we've got the emergency dive from medium altitude. Probably go lean fuel mixture, right? Usage rate. It's no screaming hurry just yet.
Reached mid altitude, very good. It's interesting, the control doesn't slow down your marking speed where it does in the other game. The engine sounded like they throttled up just then. Yeah, and I know to drop it from low, but we haven't got a target yet. There we go. Bugger, I wanted to sort of test. I think the fuel mix changed. Yeah. Alright, let's fight and win. Actually, we'll see if we can drop it off. I'll get the nav on the gun. Open doors, supplies. Did we just fly past it? I think we did. Whoops. I've forgotten to mark the planes. Hang on. You idiot. And I just went past him again. When facing a last group, I missed whatever that was. The marking in this is so much worse. Now you know what? Fuck, fuck this. Close doors, we're gonna fight. Reload, reload. I've got the radio man on there, right. Not the nav. No, oh, no, I've got focus fire. Reload.
fucking hell? Are they just sending more or is it untagging them somehow? I feel like maybe that's going on. Um. I mean, it could well be because I've got the radio man on the ventral gun. I'm going to put him back in his seat. God damn. Just a little bit obtuse. I, I normally I wouldn't mind. It's mostly just because, um, because you're under that pressure. You know what I mean. You can't really truly pause it. Did you get to lower altitude, please? Back to your station, mate. You healed up enough. Meanwhile, we've driven away because he was healing. How do I uh, lean? I don't think the pilot can leave his seat. That's why I haven't got him to... We're at low altitude, aren't we? Yeah, good. Clear area of enemies. Oh, I guess they gave up in the end. Come on, fuck. Let me click on that. Oh, we need to return to base. Won't let me speed up. Low on fuel. Well, that's why I've got you running lean, mate. Mm 
Get down below the cloud cover. Wait, what are you doing? Is that a nav mark behind me? No. I was going to say, Jesus. Oh, now we've got a speed thing. Oh, we're going to come in nice. Okay. No, well, we got there in the end, you know? Yeah, so look, I still like it, and arguably I kind of like that it's a more stressful experience than uh space crew like space crew i feel like you can actually get a bit more of a handle of the situation than in this it's a lot tougher to handle this game but um i will say that there are some there's some controls and some concepts that aren't fully explained properly and it makes for this clinky clunky sort of experience and if it was a game with a proper pause button where you were sort of moving at your own pace that'd be all good and well but the problem is because of the nature of this beast and how it is just fucking nightmare fuel. You have to, you've only got limited pause. You've got about a million plates to spin. Like the point of this game is to stress you out. So you just, you cannot have room for imprecise uh, mechanics and systems. So yeah, it's just a little bit sloppy, a bit fuzzy around the edges. Um, I'm sure some hero that's played this for 15,000 hours will tell me how I'm wrong and I should intuit it like he wouldn't understand anyway. But, um, and it is interesting coming at this having, like, I will admit I've seen the sequel. The sequel clearly doesn't have those problems. I think the, the sequel is definitely a bit more easier, a bit more accessible. Um, I don't want to say dumbed down, but this seems a lot more stressful. And I wonder how much of that is because they have made it easier in the sequel or because they've addressed the issues with how obtuse some of the mechanics are. Um, and in doing that, they've taken that stressful component out. Like how much of the stress is because the mechanics don't work properly as opposed to proper stress. Not sure, but it's something to think about. Anyway, I'm still enjoying it. We'll get there. That fucking glitch with the mouse though. We'll see if we go three for three on the next episode, but that's just not on. Not cool at all. I might have to Google it, which infuriates me. You know how I don't like to Google games outside of the game? It should be self-contained. Anyway, I digress. Team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.